firstly got to grab the butte kit. Um, four pieces of carrot. Then you go just grab the horses with a piece of carrot. Do the bay first and tie them up short to the twine. Then do the pally second. Tie him up short. Then we'll begin. Okay, so this is the brute. And we, we loosen this a bit and squeeze it up till you reach the black line and that is 30 mils. So it's a little bit more than what their highest thing is, 30 mils. Then grab your mitt. I'm left-handed but I'll provide you with the right hand. Then you just hold the mid out and just pour over 30 mils. Oops. Make sure it's all empty and then put the lid on. Back in the kit for a minute. Okay, so I start at the rear, if you want to come around, because you've got a lot on here. If we put it around the face, it's a little bit much. So for the bay, it'll be over the top of the tail, round here, back legs, right down to the hoof and under there. Do that fairly thoroughly. Right down to the hoof, both sides underneath on the inside. Then we've still got a fair bit left, so we do the face next. So we go down the side, back of the ears, front of the ears, under here where the forelock is, down the nose, sides of the cheeks, also under here, the jaw, down the neck, do the other side the same, down the nose but not round the mouth because they're drinking. So not under the chin, just under there, down the neck, along the mane to him a bit. Now we do the legs really thoroughly, right down to the hoof, on the inside, a little bit under the chest, come down again, there, now. They'll both have rugs on, so I'll show you with the pally, you can just go under the rug a little bit under the belly from both sides get over the wither if you can slide your hand under the rug and go to the belly from the other side as you can see he quite enjoys the process <laughs> okay now we start with the pally so once again loosen the lid a tad Squeeze up till it reaches 30 mils. This one's just about running out, but we'll get there. Sometimes you can squeeze again. That's pretty much the end. Then lid, ooh, lid off. All over the mitt. I'll give you a clean mitt so <laughs> this one's a bit tacky. Lid on. Goes back into the kit. Okay, so once again we start at the rear. Now Pally gets stained by this stuff so I just, he's got his rug on. They'll both have rugs on so I just come underneath a little bit can be a bit over the top there, under, and you can see there's quite a lot on the mitt at this stage. So we're going all the way down to the ground, lift a little bit and come up. Yeah, if he lifts his leg like that, you can just give him a bit of a smack. 
I don't go behind this horse. He's a bit, he's a bit of a pain. He gets a smack if he does that. If, he, if he's lifting it aggressively, I probably wasn't that time, but anyway. Okay, so I also, with him, I um, undo the neck uh, a little bit, just so it gives you a bit more access with the rugs, and you do the same with the bay. So, head is really important. He gets bitten like crazy. So front of the ears, back of the ears, all the way under the forelock, right up the top there, under the jawline, the side, come here, front, his face, down to the top of the nose, other side, front and back of the ear, along here, and under here but not too much on the nose because of the drinking then I come down a little bit on here not too much because it stains come right down here really carefully all the way down to the hoof other side Right down, stand up mate, all the way down, he's got a bit of stuff, where's he here, they don't worry about that, just go right over the top, a little bit round the chest, under the rug, and we can go on to the top of his back, and a bit on the rump, under the rug, now it might sort of pull up and tickle him a little bit, but He's got to deal with it. Just, just do it, but don't stand behind him. And then make sure you get some on the neck, especially this side. A little bit under the mane on the other side, but don't actually put it on the mane. Then nothing much on the mitt. So that goes back in the bag. in another bag mm. and then do up the next strap I'll just show you quickly do up the next strap now these guys got a carrot to be caught and they like a carrot when it's finished as a reward so with them you just want to be you know, just firm and straightforward, not, not tentative with this guy. The other horse you can do anything with. Okay, so we do that. Then he's looking for a carrot. There you go. And he goes off first because um, if you let the bay off first, he will bully this guy. So then this little guy gets his carrot. Good boy. And then off they go. Okay, thank you for watching.